Yeah, it was amazing. And uh, why don't we give him a salute as we look back at what took place in round 10 here at the National Finals Rodeo. Our Justin Boots, Magnificent Seven. Casey Field, you knew he'd be great, and he drew a great horse, 89 and a half for him. Didn't win the round, but he wound up uh, winding up number two in the average and uh, winning that world championship. Yeah, sixth world championship. He's in territory that no one's ever been before, and nobody deserves it more than that guy right there. Tyler Waggis Pack put on a show, and uh, you know we, we talked about it. He was gutsy, big fight uh, with Loomis down the stretch, but he got it done. Yeah, and you know Loomis, he laid it down, won the average, but. A difference in the luck of the draw, I think, was the only difference. Caleb and Junior, uh, they win the world championship, second world championship for Junior, first one for Caleb. Yeah, you know, and it kind of set up to be maybe a layup for those guys, but they still had to make that run to do it and get a check in the round. They pulled it off. Stetson right, Ryder right, Brody Kress all coming down to round number 10, and Stetson's the one that gets that goal buckle. That was so impressive, and, you know, that's the way it should be. Those three guys dominated all the way through, went out of the average early, but just it was so dominating in the rounds. Now he's number one. Well, Caleb Schmidt, when he smells blood, you get down to that last two or three rounds. If he's in the running, he's really hard to beat. You know, that was a good draw right there, but that cap was dying off in front of him, and all that pressure to rope that 10th win. If he's got nerves, it didn't show up in that round. What a feat. Yeah, nerves of steel, and we've talked, Jordan Briggs, you touched on it. Mentioned it after it was all said and done. Didn't want to jinx herself. Didn't knock down a barrel on this horse all season long. And do you know how hard that is to do in this arena? I mean, this arena gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you go through 10 rounds to have a horse that free. What a horse. I know it's at least the second time that Sage Kimsey's had to make the whistle in round 10 to win a world championship, and he gets it done. Yeah, pulled it off, you know, and there's a bull that should have spun the other way. But this guy is such a champion and rides so well. He had the pressure on him this year. Congratulations to Sage. Yeah, and Stetson Wright had a chance to win that world championship in bull riding as well, but uh, he wins a whole lot of money and walks away with two gold buckles. Yeah, and wins the hearts of everybody in this building. Here he is in the bull riding as well. What a great all-around champion, and he carries the PRCA crowd. He is such a good representative as an all-around cowboy. What a round 10 at the National Finals Rodeo. Maybe the best ever, you see. <laughs> Sets is still looking at that gold buckle. I'm not sure which one that is, but holy cow, what a superstar that kid is right there. Looking at your world champions, Casey Field, world title number six, title Waggis Pack. That's world championship number three. The first for Driggers, the second for Junior. Yeah, but how impressive is that? Of course, Junior, he won the all-around race, but this is his first healing buckle, and I know how badly he wanted that one. Uh, Stetson Wright winds up uh, Saddle Bronc Riding World Champion, first time in his career. Caleb, number three. Jordan Briggs, what a show she put on, and what can you say about Sage and Stetson? Yeah, superhuman Sage right there, and Stetson Wright, there's a good look at Casey Fields' mom, Veronica, who sat right here and watched Louie win all his world titles, and there's the kids. What a family, and there's Case right there. Congratulations to him and all the Field family. What a feat he put on. Number six now is in the book. You know he's already thinking about number seven. Hey, a heartfelt thank you from the Cowboy Channel to you, our viewers. Uh, thanks for sticking with us all season. We had so much fun. We're going to get bigger, badder, and better in 2022, I promise. We're going to bring you more rodeo coverage, more things to see. Uh, you guys have made it all worthwhile, and we are grateful from the bottom of our heart that you have been such a loyal fan base. Thanks for signing up for the Cowboy Channel Plus app. Thanks for tuning in night after night. We appreciate it. And uh, you can expect bigger and better things from us in 2022. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hope you have an incredible holiday season. For everybody at the Cowboy Channel family, thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts.